So what is going on everyone, this is Fabio here and today I'm going to bring you some Black Ops 2 talk and I'm going to talk about um, my thoughts and impressions about the Gamescom uh, 2012 in Cologne, Germany review of the Black Ops 2 multiplayer. So it's going to be quite an impressive video or a nice video I guess you could call it. But I'm not going to talk about all the information that's been revealed, I'm just going give, give, uh, to give you guys my thoughts about everything and... Um, because I know there are like a lot of videos on YouTube talking about this and I don't want to bother you with any sort of stale Black Ops 2 information videos. I just want to give you guys my honest thoughts and impressions. First of all, I just want to apologize about the fact that I haven't been posting any video over the last week or so. That's because I had quite a lot of friends over at my house and relatives visiting me and the weather's been super hot outside so we got to swim all day, swim all night which has been a blasty blast, but now I'm back into the YouTube game, back from this one uh, one week break. I don't want to talk about Black Ops 2, but I'm going to leave all the information down below in the description. If you've been living on the rock, you can check it out, so you, you know pretty much what I'm going to talk about. You can pause this video, check those links, and uh, get your information going. But I want to start off with uh, talking with the creative class or about the creative class system, which is now going to be called the Pick 10 creative class system. And uh, I think that this creative class system opens a whole new array of combinations you can choose for your creative class. You can now even skip your primary or your secondary altogether only to be able to pick like let's say more tactical grenades, more perks or stuff like that. Or you cannot, or you can actually skip some perks in order to get uh, like more attachments on your gun and stuff like that. And I think that they took the battlefield route where you can choose like more attachments and stuff like that. And I really glad about this but I'm not sure how they are going to be able to fine-tune this or um, balance this out because there are going to be literally thousands of combinations that you are going to be able to choose from and I'm quite worried about this and I'm sorry that my voice cracked uh, there but uh, it happens I'm not gonna start this over again because I think this is like my 10th try at this commentary which is pretty crazy but oh well and so um, I'm quite worried about some stuff, uh, particularly about uh, the creative class system, and that is if you are going to be able to pick up a weapon off the ground if you, let's say, skip your secondary, so you don't want the secondary weapon, you only want your primary, but um, you know how you usually pick up a primary gun off the ground in order to replace your secondary because, let's say you have a pistol and you don't like it, you just pick up um, a primary weapon off the ground that another um, that enemy dropped, and so you have two primary guns instead of using the overkill perk, which is quite a waste. Now, in Black Ops 3, you are going to be able to skip a secondary weapon. And if you are going to skip, let's say, the secondary weapon, it's going to give you a knife in the hand. Because that's the way it works, you know, you have to have something in the hand, even though you skip your secondary or your primary altogether. But I'm worried because I don't want you to be able to pick up a, a primary weapon when you've skipped your secondary weapon. Because I imagine everyone would do that just to have another point to waste, or not to waste, another point to pretty much uh, use on a perk or something like that, and I'm quite worried about that. I just want them to um, not leave you, uh, or let you pick up another weapon if you've skipped it. If you've skipped it, you're just not going to be able to pick it up, or pick up a weapon like that anymore, you're just gonna... Uh, have your knife forever, we're not gonna be able to pick up anything else. I think that's the fair and balanced way, but if you guys have any more uh, opinions about this, please go ahead and tell me those opinions in the, in the description or the comment section rather down below. Now I wanna talk about perks. Uh, hopefully you guys know already that there are not gonna be any more pro perks, and uh, I have a mixed opinion about this, you know, I kinda like the pro perks, I kinda didn't like them. Marfa Free uh, made them so that you can get them super easily, uh, let's say Assassin was just a matter of playing one or two ground wars and you're pretty much bound to get Assassin pro version of it, or the pro version of it, and uh, in Black Ops it was a really, really huge hassle of, um, trying to get pro perks. I remember Flag Jack, it took a freaking lot of time, especially to get uh, the pro variant of it. And also Marathon, you had to go in uh, a special playlist, I think it was uh, uh, Capture the Flag, yeah, it was Capture the Flag in order to get it pro. And that was quite a hassle, and after you completed all these challenges on Black Ops, you also had to spend a few card points on that, so it was a pretty hard, um, I guess, process in order to get the pro variant of the perk. But now it seems like it's going to be removed and um, they say it's going to make uh, for a lot more of a balanced gameplay. We are not sure yet and um, I want to talk about a really, really, um, a, a perk actually that I really want to talk about is 
Ghost because now Ghost is coming back and uh, we all know how much we hated Black Ops because of Ghost and uh, Ghost is going to be a whole lot different to Black Ops 2. Now you are only going to show up on the UAV or you are going to be hidden from the UAV if you move around. Let's say if you camp, you are not going to be uh, hidden out from the UAV. So if you camp in the corner like a little bitch, you are still going to show up on the UAV, which is a great decision. Uh, kudos to Black Ops or not to Black Ops. To so Treyarch for this, this is a really great idea and uh, I'm glad they've introduced it. And... Uh, I also want to talk about some other things like some uh, guns, uh, some notable guns that are going to make a comeback and those are the MP7 and the TAR-21. There might be more guns but I'm not really sure about that and um, I also want to talk about some killstreaks and that's um, not really killstreaks anymore to be honest with you because they are now called score streaks and um, Hopefully, guys, you already know about this again. If not, you can check this out in the description down below. Read about this because I'm not going to uh, go over every single score streak and what it does and stuff like that. I'm just going to tell you guys about the highlights and that's that um, the Reaper is going to make a comeback. But now it's going to be called the Lodestar or something like that. The Blackbird, which is really a blast using in Black Ops 1, is going to make a comeback. And now it's going to be called the Orbital VSAT. Which is pretty much the uh, the only difference between the the two kill streaks. They have the same behavior, only the name is different. And so I'm glad about that. Uh, ghost bitches eat that now. <laughs> and uh, second chance is not gonna make a comeback, by the way, in the perks or stuff like that. There's not gonna be any more death streaks. And um, uh, you are going to have a UAV, of course. What a what a thing is that and uh, the RCXC is going to make a comeback that's what I want to talk about and I'm not really sure how that's going to turn out to be and um, I'm quite skeptical about that I'm going to be honest with you I'm quite skeptical because I remember the um, RCXC in Marfa 3 Mar Mar 3 it wasn't Black Ops yeah it wasn't Black Ops it dropped you instantly and if you were on a kill streak and you were really like good and really into the game it could have ruined your chopper gunner or pretty much everything and it just sucked when someone killed you with those things and now they even had uh, they even have the hunter killer drone which um, of course is like a drone that's AI controlled that just hunts the enemies down and uh, pretty much kills them uh, when they find one or when the hunter killer drone finds an enemy it uh, as far as I can tell it pretty much kills anyone or not anyone, it kills every time you call in one, it kills one, uh, almost guaranteed, uh, but they might nerf it again, guys, don't you worry about uh, the, the balancing in this game so far, because it's only in the alpha stage, and they still have a lot more fine-tuning to do until the game's gonna come out, you know, usually the balancing or fine-tuning of the game happens between August and uh, November when the game comes out, so don't worry about this, I'm sure they are going to fix it. And David Vodahar actually tweeted about something because someone was concerned about the gun uh, being OP in Black Ops 2 as seen in the gameplays. And he said that if it's going to turn out as being overpowered, they are going to fix the shit out of it. So I don't think this should be a worry of ours. I'm just worried about uh, the creative class system because it seems like there are tons of combinations and it's super hard to balance something like that out. But we'll see. I definitely think that Triage should and could make a great game, especially if they can figure out the, the hit detection problems they've had in Marfa 3 and in Black Ops, and uh, the lag compensation and the host disadvantage. Hopefully those are going to be all disabled and the hit detection is going to be improved. But um, what I want to say is that they also have a lot more features like live streaming, uh, um, league play, but these are not really stuff or things that really cater towards the, the normal home user of or home gamer, they are more towards um, the the professional gamers, and they also have the cut casting mode where you can pretty much commentate over uh, these games. But live streaming and all of this is only going to work in league, uh, in the league playlist, so it's not going to be widely available. And uh, as far as I know, it's not going to come out when the game is going to come out. It's going to be announced at a later date, which kind of sucks. But I guess it's a lot of work they have. To put into this, and uh, they have, they still haven't figured out everything. As you guys can see, this is a Marvel 3 terminal, ground worth 53, I think it was, and 11 kills, and uh, 53, 11, 53 kills and 11 deaths. What the fuck am I talking about? 
hopefully you guys can uh, leave some impressions and stuff like that about Black Ops 2 and uh, I'm going to I'm going to read every single one of them <laughs> but anyways guys peace out guys peace remember to like and favorite and subscribe to my channel peace